interview of the year? You're like a star in our house. Hey, I'm Alec. Welcome to Small Alec on Sports. Last week, I continued my interview with Roger Goodell. He is part three. Hey, Roger. Hey, buddy. This has been so much fun. Everyone loves the Super Bowl. How do you pick the city in halftime show entertainment? Do you get to pick your favorite band for the halftime show? <laughs> Alex, that's one thing I never do is impose my favorite band. Uh, my wife and kids laugh at me about my choice of music. So I, I leave that to the professional. Most importantly, Alex, to me, is what is the message we want to deliver with the Super Bowl halftime? One of my favorite moments was in New Orleans after 9-11 when U2 was involved with a halftime show. And what I thought made that so special is they found a way to connect to certainly our country, if not the entire world, that moment that we were recognizing the people that were lost in that tragic event and also the people that were heroes. That was a, one of the best moments that I can remember for the NFL. So we've taken that and said, how do we do that every year? How do we find that special moment, that special message, and deliver that with the creativity of a great entertainer? Do you ever meet with the commissioners from all the professional sports, like the NBA, MLB, and NHL, to discuss ideas and ways to improve the games? Uh, yes, we do. Um, you know, obviously, we have different games that we're each responsible for, but there are a lot of similarities in what we do, obviously. The, the overall responsibilities are quite similar. Uh, I think we learn from one another. We respect one another. Uh, we like it, one another. And there are very few people who know what it's like to sit in the chair of commissioner. Uh, so there's a, there's a natural bond, and we help one another. So I appreciate the relationship I have with them, and uh, I value that tremendously. You really do have the golden ticket to any football game you want. <laughs> well, that's fair. Um, that, is a, that is a privilege that I do have. You're right, Alec. And it's, but you can go to any youth game locally. You can go to, to your high school games, and I love doing that. I, those, are, those are experiences. They don't require a ticket, but they require... They require the passion of the game, and uh, I love doing that. I love watching on television. I watch football all weekend. I can't get enough of the game, and that's the thing I always remember is that I'm a fan first. I just want to thank you so much for your time and joining me on Smart Alec on Sports. I truly consider you my friend. I will be rooting for you for another 10 to 20 years as NFL commissioner. And I hope the Chicago Bears can make it to the Super Bowl again. Thank you. Well, Alec, I'm honored to be your guest, but more importantly, your friend. So thank you for, uh, for your friendship, and I hope we'll see you soon. Thanks for watching. I am so thankful and happy that the commissioner of the NFL was a guest on Smart Alec on Sports. It was a blast. Can I call it the interview of the year? <laughs> I think I will. Imagine a kid who told his disability will be a lifelong struggle. Now imagine a place where that same kid is told he can do anything. I don't have to imagine, because that kid is me. And that place is Shriners Hospitals for Children. Shriners Hospitals for Children has helped bring hope to children and their family, regardless of their ability to pay. Please call or go online today. You call says you care. Subscribe to my page so you don't miss my next episode. This is Smart Alec on Sports, presented by Shauna's Hospitals for Children.